So yeah, today we're going to talk about integrating IEC 621-850 relays um, into Rockwell ad applications. Um, basic overview, we're going to uh, look at the IEC 621-850 solution, um, go through some of the ProSoft hardware and software, and then talk about some of the plant PAX items that were done for specifically for SEL relays. So basically it's a couple of Encompass partners here uh, working with Rockwell Automation. You got ProSoft Technology that does the IEC 61850 to Ethernet IP gateway solution. The module being shown right there is a dual port. So you've got the ability to set up your protection relay network on one subnet and you've got the uh, Ethernet IP network on a different subnet. Um, one of the questions that comes up quite frequently is why use IEC 61850? Uh, it's just another protocol for devices out on the network. We've already got several different protocols that are used in the relay and protection networks, Modbus, DMP, and some one of the one of the big things that comes up with this is the addressing. With Modbus, you've got these cryptic Modbus registers, the 40,000 registers, uh, that you had to go through documentation, look through, you had to have an Excel spreadsheet that usually kept track of the data in one location, where it was mapped in another location. It wasn't very intuitive as to what each one of those registers represented. DMP was the same thing. You, know, you had object 30, variation 2, you've got this listing of points through here. And uh, so it's basically one of the analogies that I like to use on this is uh, it's very similar to the old days of Slick 500 and PLC5s where you had N7, F8, N10, and you hoped that you had the online description of what those values actually meant. As you moved over to control and compact logics, you can name those tags whatever you wanted. And that's what we've done with, I, with, with IEC 61850. There's self-descriptive tag names that describe exactly what that point means. So something like XCBR, that means uh, it's breaker protection data. STVAL means it's a, a status value right there. So just based on the tag name, you've got some indication without offline documentation, without an Excel spreadsheet, you've got some indication of what that point actually represents on the IEC 61850 network. So based on the, the, the 61850 protocol, they've broken things down into logical devices, logical nodes, they've got help, and then status value. So the tag itself is very self-descriptive and gives you a good indication of what that, just by looking at the tag name, it gives you a good indication of what that point means. Instead of like on DMP networks where you had uh, object 30, variation one, index three, or Modbus register 41,000. So where that's helpful is um, in your configuration. Um, in the configuration environment, you can go ahead and, and look at the IEC 61850 tags. You can drag and drop in our configuration software, you can drag and drop the tag name over into um, uh, Ethernet IP networks and it's a visual configuration software that allows for uh, all of your configuration of the 61850 module. But one of the, the best parts of the features about this is those same tag names that you're configuring on a 61850 network can actually be automatically imported in, or automatically generated and imported into RS Logics 5000. So what we do is we go ahead we take the IEC 61850 tag name and then we go ahead and generate a custom add-on instruction based on the data that you're mapping uh, from that protection relay network and we build all the controller tags for you. So when you compare this to what you've done in the past with DMP and Modbus applications where you're having to go ahead and configure the, through the relay protection software, you configure, you look at one particular tag, then you map it over to a Modbus network You've got offline spreadsheets, things like that. Uh, this is all the same relay tag that's used in the 61850 config software. It's also the same tag that you get on your control logics or compact logic system. So it allows you to speed up your configuration. Um, we have one 
uh, end user that told us that it was a, they were able to cut their configuration time on a six on a protection relay network from from about three to four days to about four hours. So it, it allowed them to ask for more data. It allowed them to uh, greatly ease their configuration. Uh, another thing is uh, this is just showing the example of the. 61850 configuration within the SEL environment. So as you can see, your configuration software used to configure your protection network is using the same uh, tag as what's being used in your control logic and compact logic system. So you've got some consistency between two different configuration or two different uh, software packages. Now the other thing is uh, the same relay configuration. Uh, the tag name is all the way brought up to the PLC. So, like I said, no cryptic object numbers and indexes. The only thing that we have to do, and this is just uh, 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 this is just because of in 61850 world they use special symbols like the dollar sign. We had to replace the dollar sign with an underscore. So that's the only difference between your two tags that get configured right there. And the same data naming convention, uh, we're talking specifically about what we've done with SEL relays here, but that same uh, data naming convention is because of the 61850 protocol is also common to uh, different vendors out there. So if you've got a breaker protection relay, whether it's from Siemens, SEL, Shiner, it's also going to have the same naming convention just based on the function of that relay itself. The gateway product that we provide can go out and uh, pull numerous 61850 relays and go ahead and push that data up to an Ethernet IP network. Again, as we talked about, the uh, it works with several different device vendors of 61850 and provides fast data communication between uh, 61850 network and an Ethernet IP network. And then uh, custom add-on instructions pulled into Studio 5000, and it allows you to uh, go ahead and port that add-on instruction. Gives you the add-on instruction with all the user-defined data types, and defines that data in the I/O configuration tree. So the PLX module uh, sets up an Ethernet IP implicit I/O connection. Uh, Rockwell's actually done some work with uh, our module and created some custom faceplate for various 61850 Schneider relays. So this one is for a 700G relay. So they've gone ahead and created some visualization faceplates that go ahead and bring back uh, data that gives you an indication. So if you're bringing this out to an HMI or a SCADA system, They've already started uh, some of the work for you, so your visualization, uh, you know, the time to get the visualization objects is cut, and cut in half. And so that was about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions on our interface for 61850, please stop by and let me know or ask one of the representatives. Thank you.